guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. We are five weeks out as of yesterday. So this is the final day of digging that we do have before we move into our deload and diet break next week. So checked in with Cooper this morning and he sent me across the adjustments for next week, which I'm gonna run through now in a second, but I will update you with where we are at, okay? So my body weight has come down by 1.6 kg on average this week, which is the biggest average weight loss drop that we've experienced so far this prep bar off the back of the last deload and diet break but that like my weight went up a kg and then it kind of came back down quite quickly so i don't think i can really count that so big week of fat loss things have really come in especially from behind lower back is starting to get there now you know glutes hamstrings are, are, are getting there a little bit more so very happy with the look we are a little bit flat though we're treating this week like a mock peak week so adjustments across from Cuba this morning for our food next week we're going to run like training day food every single day and we have upped the carbs across four meals of the day okay so extra 75 grams of cream of rice to meal number one we have an extra 75 grams of rice to meal number two extra 75 grams of rice to meal number four and five and we also have an extra 50 grams of cream of rice to meal six so that's going to be an oats and cream of rice combo so that is an additional 220 grams of carbs and i think calories are up by a thousand overall so nice little increase um i don't think it's going to be enough to fill me up though i have to update kuba with my weight tomorrow which i think is going to drop again as my weight was 0.1 up from where it was yesterday but that was post or before i went for two more big toilet breaks so i think after lower food today and i'm training i will see a drop as i, as I normally have dropped after these kind of lower training days this week so we probably will see low 93s tomorrow um, and then hopefully you know the way it'll come up by about kilo maybe kilo and a half by the end of next week but yeah should be should be interesting guys but i'll kind of take you through that so we're going to head and train push now in um about an hour i would say and then after that when i'm eating my post-workout meal i'm going to catch up with you and kind of run through at this stage you know why we are kind of deloading and diet breaking and just talking about the kind of like reason and rationale behind this a little bit more just for anyone who's kind of interested in in how these work or kind of why we do what we do so that's pretty much it guys i will catch up with you very soon yo 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 what is happening people so you can call me mystic mac because I predict these things Monday morning and as anticipated another big drop today so 0.6 kilo down the scales we are 92.95 so I said low 93s yesterday we've only gone and smashed that so orders from Cuba today are extra muffin in my pre-workout meal which I just had a while ago and it was immense two rice krispie squares on top of my rice krispie square bars on top of my post-workout meal and then an additional 50 grams of cream of rice in my last meal of the day on top of already all the extra carbs so that is a nice little refeed kind of high day for today which should be good also kuba is actually down in manchester today viewing a unit for the Ultraflex Manchester gym which is meant to be in the pipework for the last two years so I'm going to have an in-person check-in with him so I'm going to bring the camera to the gym and get him obviously take a look at me get some footage on that and we might hear about the deload and diet break process and the rationale and the reasoning behind it from the horse's mouth itself so I'll try and get Kuba on the camera to explain that for you all I'm just actually currently waiting on a text for him as if anybody knows Kuba uh time management isn't really his uh his best trait so i don't want to get to the gym too early as i only have d volume legs today and i don't want to like get there um and then we kind of waiting for him whatever so i'm going to wait for him to kind of give me a text head to the gym then maybe get him to look at me before my session um or potentially after my session who knows as long as i just kind of catch him at the right time and then uh you know from there we'll just come back and uh kind of run through any other bits that we need to run through so that's pretty much it guys i will catch up with you very soon yeah it's just flat. That's all it is. Yeah. Flat but very lean. Yeah. Just hold that. Just relax. Relax. No, I'm just uh, hold, squeeze, squeeze your glutes, squeeze your glutes. Bro, it's not that much here now, you know. I don't know, yeah. There's not that much here now. There is, there is, there is. There's, there not, is, there there's is. not, mate. Look, 
when I can't fit, when I've got to force it to pinch it like this, yeah, yeah. it's not much there at all, mate. Yeah, it's, it's getting there, it's getting there. You know I'm my head daughter still. I yeah. More, more. Take us some pictures, maybe. Take us some pictures, I'll go through frozen in a minute. Okay. Okay. Can you open your lats up wider on this? It's going to be comfortable. Uncomfortable. Make it uncomfortable. Yes. I think that's even better, man. Just need to keep working on that. What, what I like to do is sometimes I hit it because it's uncomfortable for me, but it makes a world of a difference with how much light I can pop, I can, pop I can get from a front double. Yeah. So as I go into it, boom, hit that. Obviously, always yeah. start with this. Open, boom, and you want to do and what I found is it opens up my lats a lot more. Yeah. So open a slight depression, and your lat hangs a little bit more that way as well. Yeah. And uh, yeah, wicked. Use your trunks for the shot. Hands higher. Right. Don't bring your elbows forward as much. Open up for your lats more. Yeah, that's still something we need to work on. I think, what, do you know what you're trying to do on your front and back lat spread? You try and tense rather than opening. Just try and be as wide as you possibly can be. Don't try and flex. Do you know what I mean? But today, you're a little bit flatter anyway, so it's not going to be like you can get a, a great fucking pump. Yeah, it's just finished legs as well, so it's a, it's a great, you know. Yeah. See, on this shot, what you're doing is you're pulling that arm back way too much and you're not bringing that in. So, what you need to do is drive that arm up into your side, make it bigger, flex your bicep, make yourself big. But as you bring that in, don't pull that away. That's way thicker. Way thicker. You just look more 3D, you're showing your density and size now. Yeah. Back shoulder back. Bring that shoulder back. Down, down, and bring it. Yeah, that's better. That's better. That's a better shot. That's better. Don't even do that over one. Don't even do that over one. Just do this one. Just do this one, yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's it's gonna be after this diet break, it's it's fucking few pounds in his there. You're very much like me, you know, when you're flat, you can't pose your back properly. Yeah, you can't pose your back properly when you're, when you're flat, so. Yeah, that's beautiful, that is fucking hell. Do that again. Get your hands above your head more and open your lats a little bit more. Put it That's where you're going to be. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Just so you can get more arm and you can get more of that. So yeah, I'm when you're going to it, open. Try that with that leg out to the side a little bit more. Yeah. 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 It's very flat today. How did the food go down so far? Yeah. Easy, Easy yeah? Easy. Beautiful. I was gonna say. Yeah, I think uh, I was much I'm much sharper in the mornings. Yeah, yeah. And then like see that. Just before I go to bed then. Yeah. Really sharp. So for me like I think doing all the load and two small meals before you get on stage. Oh, that's what I'll do anyway. Like, you're not, you're not going to be eating big meals before stage. Yeah, like fuck all water, like just... No, you still need water because if you don't drink water, oh, no, that's when like you'll... 500 mils maybe, you'll need like a litre That's all you'll need. So we'll get up, 500 ml of water, and then all I want you to do is 500 ml of water in between meal and with the meal. Yeah. So 250 with the meal, 250 around the meal on the day. Yeah, yeah. And that, that mate, when you, when you total that up, that's still going to be like three, four litres of water. Yeah. 
So it's, so it's not that we're cutting water, it's just limiting it to keep the good section gut down a little bit as well. Yeah, at the moment, right, I reckon why I'm so dry in the mornings is because I cut my water intake at like five, six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this and this and this yeah. and this and yeah. I make up, I'm like... Dry, yeah, yeah. yeah. Even yeah. like here, right? Yeah. Where I've got a lot of fat. In the morning, yeah. this is just like... Crisp, yeah. Like, but it, 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 it just... Like, yeah. In here is coming Yeah, yeah. Do me some pictures tomorrow as well. Mate, right, hundred percent. There's not that much in the glutes now. This is why I want to grab them as well. Yeah. There's not that much on there now. And, and that and that's still flatness as well. What you'll notice back end of this week, when you've been eating and you've come back to life, you'll get drier and fuller. Normally when I'm super flat, I notice that my arms. Your arms have been flattened off once. If anything, it's your back that's flattened off, not your arm. Your arms look yeah, big. No, my traps, my full, my traps just yeah, I'm very much the same. My back's the first thing that goes when I get flat. Yeah. And then it, it looks completely different when I get full. It's the same with you, because you can't even pose it properly on your flat, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, because it's like, you know, and I'm trying not to get caught in comparisons. Yeah, yeah. So what people like, other arms are the leaner than but they're not posting any back shots. Yeah. I know my goods and hamstrings are leaner. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so with the posing, right, we think on the side pose, I get back into this. Yeah. Okay. So I'm elbowing tight here. And then just bring that, in. yeah mate, you look fucking huge there. But bring that chest down, don't elevate. You're extending that spine too much. And then pelvis tucked as well to get glute in a little bit more. Yeah, sit down into it. Yeah. yeah. And then with this one, yeah. off the other one. Yeah. And just... Yes, that's perfect. Go into the side chest more, but sit into the leg more. Sit right into it, get low. See, the only reason why... I don't sit into as much as I really struggle to get the view on. So I find I push through the hips and then I go back. Right. The side chest is about showing the thickness. You're gonna be able, you're gonna get a chance to show your condition in the back. So I'd rather you not even focus on the glute here, because if you try and just get the glute in but you make yourself look smaller, this you're losing the shot. This is what I mean, and that's why I don't turn the glute on. Fuck that, just leave it. Do, do you know what helps turn the glute on? Go back into it, get sit down lower into it and then crank your heel in, in more, 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 but without, don't do anything with pelvis, just crank the heel in, heel in, yeah, that's oh, yeah, it, yeah, yeah. that's all you need, what, feel that. yes, see what I'm saying, yeah, Whoa. yeah, feel that, feel that, so when you externally rotate by driving the heel in, it forces you to glue it on, yeah, yeah, because I'm always thinking, here, no, but then okay. if you push this in, you, you, you're internally rotated, so your glutes relax. Yeah. Once you external rotate, your glutes on. Yeah, I think so it's the, it's the same thing when you go on a, a 45 hyperextension. If you keep your feet straight or internal rotate, it's just hamstring. Yeah. You external rotate your feet, your glutes are on straight away because you're <laughs> rotating your leg and your glutes are flexed. I keep forgetting, like, when I'm on stage, it's like four of the one knee. You know when I take my checking shots? I'm playing around with all my side tricep yeah. variations, right? I'm doing yeah. this and this and this. I look at the photo and I'm like, that doesn't look how it looks yeah. in there. Yeah. But then when I'm doing it here for the lads, they're like, yeah. oh, that's definitely that. <laughs> you know, because they can see, like, yeah, 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 like this. Yeah, yeah. So I know when I'm on stage, like, yeah, bro, when I hit this, that's going to be sick, yeah. The judge is there and they'll see. Yeah, it'll be sick, man. They'll see it all. So, uh, yeah, headers. Last time, see this? Lost the all. You are. 26k steps before the show. I know I'm Fuck that. Actually, Mate, you look. I'm very happy with this, to be honest. Yeah. And for these shots, really, I hit the vacuum and then I just hit relax. The vacuum and then do a vacuum and then what? Do this. Right. Vacuum and now sharp exhale through your mouth. Get tight. Shh. That's it. I don't really like that. Kind of. it, do you know what? It, to give or take. Can you hold the vacuum all the way through? Yeah. When I'm do in that. The morning, in the morning, mate, I can hold them. Just like do that. 20. Yeah, but don't forget, on show day, you're going to have no fibre in you. You're going to have lower protein. Your midsection is going to be fucking half. When I wake up in the so, morning, I do my vacuums after I weigh myself. I can hold them. For show day is going to feel better than even first thing in the morning because you're not going to have any, any volume in your gut from like the day before. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, hold it like this. I can stand up. I can do a front relax, front double, add play, I still hold it. That's sick. So, yeah, I won't be a problem. Like last prep, yeah, yeah. Last prep was eating 2,000 calories and put it back in all day long. This yeah. time I, I can't, but in the morning I'll, yeah, yeah. I'll be solid. Yeah. She's a heavyweight cast as good as that last shot. Would have been bought by the roster there. Callum. It's not like a point. Look, oh, man, I'm probably going to be. It was 92.8. Yeah. 
Yep. Um, probably going to be below 92 kilos by the time, 91 by the time I'm skinned, right? Five pounds maybe to go from here. I'm going to be bottom end of that heavyweight class. So even if, I don't, even if I don't come last base, that's brilliant. Because right. when I gain 20 pounds... It, it, it doesn't matter, mate, because I know what we can do now. Yeah. I'm going to move mate. Yeah. Wasn't. It's just a matter of time, mate. It's just a matter of time. I wasn't so. already. I wasn't getting there. You will. So. Beautiful work, man. Right, food time. Thank you. Yes, guys. How are we? Welcome back. So it is now Friday, as you will see, as we have Fresh Fade here on Fresh Fade Friday. That last clip of me kind of going through the rounds of posing with Kuba, I just kind of left the whole thing in the raw as I think it was invaluable for me and hopefully other people would have picked something up off of just him kind of running through, you know, that he's kind of happy with where I'm at. Um, some kind of posing tweaks and stuff, some I agree with, some I don't, but you know, that's a, that's a separate issue. But anyway, guys, I wanted to kind of let this video run until the end of the week so that I could kind of talk about um, the changes and why we are doing this deload and diet break and what the purpose of it actually is, okay? So the last deload and diet break I would have done, we would have ate up quite heavily, okay? And the goal was pretty similar there. It was to drop fatigue. It was to kind of bring us into a little bit of a surplus so that we could really kind of like push on with the diet and after that. My last diet break, I had 11 weeks of dieting up to that point. And then I think from this one, there was maybe six or seven weeks in between. This time around, we're not eating up as heavily and we're not having like the off-plan meals in the form of sushi because what we're basically trying to replicate is going to be a mock peak week, okay? So during a mock peak week, the most important thing is bringing your freshest, best physique to the stage. So that means fullness, that means condition, that means detail. And how we do this is by backing off output, okay, both outside of the gym and in the gym. So my steps have been reduced to 6K this week. Some days I've gone slightly over that. Other days, like today, a rest day, it's kind of easier to kind of stick to that goal, okay? So obviously that's going to leave a little bit of inflammation come down. I noticed my legs look a lot better this week because I'm not on my feet as much, which is good. And obviously on stage, you know, you want those detail that detail in your legs. So I think before my last show, I did 26K steps the day before I went on stage and like all the feathering in my quads just completely went. And I actually mentioned that in the last clip, that is not gonna happen this time around, okay? So we pull down the output outside of the gym, we pull down the output in the gym. So we've done D-volume sessions this week. So how that's differed from our kind of last D-volume and that we've done, normally D-volume for me, right? We reduce the volume by about 40% and that usually means not doing my top sets but doing my back off sets in the higher rep range and maybe leaving a rep in reserve on bigger exercises where I just normally have just one set, like an RDL for example, right? This week what we've done is a similar kind of approach but We've kept some top sets in there just to retain strength. And then other sets, instead of doing like a, a back, back off set of 12 to 15 or a back off set of 15 to 20, we've kind of shortened the rep ranges down and just said 10 to 12 reps. And Kuba's also said, don't spend as much time in the eccentrics, just kind of move the weight, okay? Now, this diet break and deload definitely came at a good time because obviously we were pushing quite hard in the lead up to this. I actually dropped 2.35 kilos from Monday to Monday before we started the diet break. So in that video of that clip of me posing for Cuba, I was at my flattest. I was 92.95 kilos. In like the two or three days before that, I'd had like a 0.8 kilo drop and a 0.7 kilo drop. So when we started to eat up on Monday, right, I obviously immediately didn't freshen up. And even Tuesday, Wednesday, even yesterday, I haven't really felt fully fresh. So we definitely kind of caught it at the right time because I think even though I was eating more food and I was resting more, it was like those big weight drops that I kind of experienced and the level of kind of, you know, leanness and condition that I'm at now, like you're not going to feel great at that. Like it's not really too sustainable to be kind of walking around when your body is like a super peeled and it's trying to hold on to every last bit of body fat that you actually do have. So I've really actually been feeling it this week. You know, since I started eating more, my appetite has been rampant. It's been absolutely sky high. So I know when we get back to digging, it is gonna be pretty fucking tough, right? So we ran like a like a really high day on Monday after Cooper seen me in person when I was quite flat. So that was actually an extra muffin, um, two Rice Krispie Square bars with my post meal, muffin was pre-meal, and then an extra 50 grams of cream of rice before bed. So total macros for Monday were 
316 proteins, 791 carb and 60 fat. That's 4,969 calories. The following day, we actually did something similar. Now, the next day was a rest day. So I didn't have my intro workout and then I didn't have the two Rice Krispie squares post-workout. We just did the muffin. That was 4,002 4,423 calories. So Monday and Tuesday were quite high days. Now, on Tuesday morning I woke up, I was 94.3 kilos, okay? So I jumped 1.35 kilos, basically after that like super high day. That weight has kind of stuck um, for the whole week, okay? So looking at my tracker here now, I jumped that 1.3 kilo. Then after the second kind of higher day with the muffin, I went up to 94.5. Wednesday then was just a normal day at the baseline food, which is 4,000 calories, 4,076 calories, 304 protein, 643 carb, and a 32 fat. Um, following day then, uh, exact same thing, and weights those days was 94.5 and 94.3. This morning, we've been 94.3 again, and today is actually a rest day, so I have, um, that kind of 4,000 calories and 640 carb minus the intra. So it's just below 4,000 calories today. So today is actually the lowest day that I'm gonna have all week. So I actually am kind of anticipating my weight potentially to drop again tomorrow. But since that initial spike, 94.3, 94.5, 94.3, 94.4. So weight has kind of held pretty consistently throughout the week, which is kind of mad to be honest, because you know, my carbs were at you know, 790, um, then like 740, then like 640, 640. And now today they're like 620. So quite a lot of carbs there. Now, I have been sending Cuba pictures and weight every single morning. Um, on Monday, after that initial kind of super high day, on Tuesday morning, I was quite happy with the look. I was like, oh yeah, that looks kind of pretty good. You know, I kind of like how I look here. Then after another two days, on Thursday, I woke up, I took my pictures and I was like, I look mega soft here, like so soft. Looked like I'm after gaining two kg body fat and like whatever. And Aku was like, you haven't, trust me. But I think I was just like super fatigued, to be honest, because I'm actually recording this clip just off the back of waking up for a nap, okay? I slept almost eight hours last night and I've just had a nap of about an hour there, which started at half nine, it's 11 o'clock now. Yesterday, um, I actually slept seven hours that night and I had an hour nap in the middle of the day as well. And then on Wednesday, I slept nearly eight hours. And if anyone knows me, that's fucking absolutely unheard of for me. So I feel like this week and after like really digging down last weekend, um, once I started like eating up the food and I dropped down the clean, my body was just like, choom. it just started like completely resting. It just got absolutely slammed. So. This week has, has kind of been the hardest week of prep so far, even though I'm deloading and diet breaking, you know, even going into the gym, I'm doing fuck all volume, but everything just feels heavy. It just feels like a chore. And um, so I'm hoping after today and, you know, potentially tomorrow on higher food that by Sunday, I'm going to kind of be ready to rock because I need to be ready to rock. You know, I reckon I need to get down to around 91 kg, if not lower from here. You know, I do think there is once I get back down to that kind of, you know, 92.95 low, I do think there's another three kilos to go from there, right? Which is obviously, you know, about six and a half pounds. So I, I do think that that is what I have to lose. I do think it is achievable. Obviously off the, last of the, uh, off the back of the last diet break, I dropped like 1.8 kg on average. Um, so my average this week is 94.1. If that happens again, you know, I'll kind of be within striking distance, but we have three weeks from here to just really push really hard and then repeat the, repeat the peak process again. Now, I'm checking in again with Kuba today at 1 p.m., okay? So I took my photos this morning, I sent them on to him and I was like, okay, these are a little bit better than they were yesterday. I looked much fuller, I looked much harder, actually. Um, from the back, I was a touch softer. Like, I think my back kind of holds a little bit of water, and then like my glutes and hamstrings weren't like as tight and sharp as they normally are. That's not really gonna be as much of an issue on stage because we're gonna have a couple of things in play, etc., etc. But the fact he told me to kind of send me pictures in the middle of the day today, I'm kind of like, hmm, okay, is this gonna be like the last day of loading or, you know, is he just gonna kind of assess things like meal to meal, day to day over the next day or two? And uh, are we close to kind of finding the look that we're gonna to need to have um, on stage? You know, minus obviously all the orals that still have to go in, minus tapering them the water a little bit, um, which I will run through all of that stuff with you guys 
when we kind of get to uh, peak week and I know what's happening because you know we can't really tell what that's going to look like in advance yes we're doing like a mock peak this week but things change so yeah this week was all about kind of seeing how much we need to kind of feed me and load me and um, even on on the Monday like when he gave me the initial baseline food I was new to my I was thinking to myself I was like this isn't going to be enough and then he seen me in person gave me like those those two higher days and uh now we've had you know three days or two and a half days really back on the normal kind of a plan and i feel like now we're kind of getting closer to to what the look should be but uh yeah we're really going to be digging i imagine hard when we get back um back back to it because i think i only had like five or five days on like the lower level of food that like absolutely peeled so much body fat off me so i'm obviously gonna have that times about like four you know in, in, in terms of duration um by the time we kind of start the peak for stage so super exciting guys but i am hoping i, I kind of come around a little bit energy wise um by the time this week is out but look even if I don't, you know, the work is the work is going to get done. We're, we're almost four weeks out. We're four weeks out tomorrow. So, you know, I'm not going to feel amazing at this stage. Body fat levels are low. Um, I've been dieting for almost 20 weeks. You know, it's just a matter of sucking it up, pushing through. You know, I think this is where you cannot let other competitors get ahead of you. This is the difference, you know, in people, in terms of people who, you know, get in good condition and people who get in great condition. It's about going through this daily mental battle, taking things one day at a time and just making sure you nail absolutely everything regardless of how you feel. Like even all week this week, like post-workout, I was like, oh, I do not want to get into my trunks and pose, but I did it anyway. You know, did two, three rounds, took pictures, all that sort of shit because you just you just need to do that. You know, you could be tired on stage and you're going to be worked hard on stage if it's close between you and someone else. So you just got to do this shit guys, you just got to suck it up, you just got to grind through um, and that's what it's all about and you know that's why I choose to prep in the first place, it's it's the mental challenge and I think I do kind of thrive when it gets to this position, when it's like that mental battle with myself every single day, okay just push through, just do it, you know, you need to get it done um, and that's where like the real reward actually comes from, not in like just a medal at the end but anyway, that clip was like 12 minutes long this video is going to be a fucking long one and um, so hopefully people will actually enjoy it but that's why we deload and diet break anyway guys because that is probably the topic of the video um i might check in one more time at the end of the day or tomorrow once kuba has given me his feedback and we have some kind of plan of action moving forward um but other than that i will wrap up this clip here and i'll chat to you very soon Right guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up here and I'm gonna keep this brief because it's already a very long video, but it's actually Saturday today, so we are four weeks out, but stay tuned for the next vlog for the four weeks out vlog. So, updates. I was 94.7 kg this morning, so this is actually the highest weigh-in of the week, even though yesterday was the lowest amount of carbs I had all week. So, today is probably the first day where I woke up and I was like, okay, I feel fresh, I feel kind of ready to rock again. So, checked in with Kuba, sent him my pictures. They're actually much better, I'm gonna pop them up over here um, I was very happy with them probably the happiest I've been with my pictures all week I think I kind of look fuller fresher a little bit tighter even though I'm a tad soft from the back so I was happy with that had a push session there <clears throat> went pretty well and I feel like the energy levels are starting to pick back up a little bit I didn't sleep as long last night and I feel like that's nearly a good sign because my body was sleeping so much earlier on during the week I kind of feel like I'm back to normal now so to speak so pretty much what we're going to do is run the normal diet break food for today the remainder of today and tomorrow so that'll be a full week of deloading and diet breaking and then we are going to drop the hammer and we have three weeks to get in the best condition possible so thank you for watching guys if you've made this far hopefully this was a good insight a little bit more informative um, and you picked up something from this video so if you made it this far thank you make sure you like the video subscribe and please share it as well guys i'd really really appreciate that i will catch you in the next one